to those surging consumer prices. The cost of ordinary, ordinary items are on the rise. Rebecca Jarvis joins us with what's driving up costs and what it means for your bills. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning to you, Michael. And we are seeing those price increases really across the board on goods and services, but they are slower price increases than what we had seen earlier this year and in the summer. Here's the look at things in groceries. You're seeing those prices go up on meat, poultry and fish by 5.9% on dining out. You're seeing prices up 4.6% and gasoline. You just heard that motorcycle behind me. Well, gasoline prices are up 41.8%. He's paying a lot more for that ride today than he did a year ago. Now, the bottom line here is that prices are going up for the most part across the board, but there's one area where we have seen prices going higher that didn't see prices significantly higher last month, and that is in the area of used cars. Those prices are up 41.7% this year, but last month the pace started to slow down. And the bottom line here is that supply shortages are really driving things higher, and we're expecting to see even greater price increases in the future. Companies like Shake Shack just this week said they're going to hike prices between three and three and a half percent. The small businesses out there, they were surveyed just this month. 44% of them, Michael, say they're going to hike prices going forward. When you said Shake Shack is hiking prices, I saw some lips at the desk go <laughs> just like that. A little upset about that with Rebecca. But I got to say, there is some good news out there. If you are seeking a job, there are over 10 million job openings right now. This is a job seekers market, and that's great news if you're an employee. For employers out there, Part of the issue here is that the cost of not being able to find that labor, increasing wages, we are starting to see those costs being passed along to the consumer. The Delta variant is a big wild card here because if people start consuming less, that could actually help moderate prices. But going forward, the question now is how long do these price increases continue? The Federal Reserve, Michael, believes that this is temporary, whereas other economists see them continuing to rise. Michael? We know the public hope is temporary. Thank you so much for that, Rebecca. Nobody likes to pay more money for things. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.